Hi guys and welcome back to another video here on this channel. I hope you're all doing really really well and today's video I'm going to be sharing with you some thrifted items that I managed to find over this weekend and it's going to be a good one. Lots of things for the home and for the garden and I did find some little thrifty crafty bits too. So let's get on into the video. So we're back in my sewing studio um, it does need a bit of a tidy up and a reorganise, which I will take you along with too. But today I'm going to be showing you some lovely bits that I've thrifted for the autumn season, for both the home and the garden. And I really hope you enjoy because I'm rather happy with what I found in this thrift. So let's get on into the video. So I'm going to start first of all with this lovely woven basket. And how gorgeous is that? Now... It's been quite a few summers and I have been looking for sort of a sort of tote basket bag but something that's quite stylish and to be honest I never really found anything that I really liked but this I think is just absolutely stunning it's got this really beautiful um, swirl detailing here and the shape is just beautiful and the size is just absolutely perfect for a summer's day not too big not too small you can fit a little blanket in there if you wanted to sit down on the beach but yeah, I thought this was super cute. It doesn't have a label or anything, so I'm not really sure where it originated from. But I just think with some like neon pink and yellow sort of woolen yarn as tassels would look so cute on this. I can definitely jazz it up. I'm really, really happy with that. And this was only £3, which is a bargain. And yeah, just the perfect summer bag. Now, what have I got in here? So... I did pick up a couple of extra supplies from the pound shop of this mustard wool. I have started a granny square project for sort of the evenings in front of the TV, but it's a starburst effect design. And when I started making that, I realized how much I really adored this color. So I thought I needed to pick up some more and these are from the pound shop. So a pound each for 50 grams, which I think is perfect and while I was in the pound shop I also picked up some supplies of the core bond velcro in black and that was a pound obviously for 67 centimeters and I also got the same in the white so we've got those two there just to um, fill up on my stock I've got a couple of crafts coming up that I've got something in mind for these and I think you're gonna love it so stay tuned for that and I also needed some extra elastic in my stash. So I got this 12 millimeter elastic at 2.6 meters, again a pound, which you can't go wrong with. Um, obviously if you ever need anything more specific, then um, I just kind of buy as I go. But sometimes I just do a really spontaneous project and I just need an elastic, I don't care what it looks like or what size it is. And yeah, it just means I can actually finish a project that I start without having to wait for a delivery. So I always keep a few of these essentials in my stash. Um, I was thinking as well that I should do a video on what my essential sort of stocks are. Um, because obviously you can't stock on everything. But there's some things that I think you really can't go wrong with. Um, so let me know if you'd be interested in seeing that video. And actually I forgot to mention what I'm wearing. This is the Peppermint Ruffle Top. Which is a free sewing pattern. And it's in this barley fabric which I'll link down below if you're interested it does come in a red as well so I think that's also perfect for the autumnal season but yeah love this top really cute and I've got my latest make which was um actually a sew with me so if you want to watch that video I'll link it down below but it's this lovely corduroy dress with these lovely buttons so if I can show you so these buttons as well that I thrifted like I said in my other video what I do want to do is because there's a little bit of um, gathering here from the tension of the button is I do either want to put an extra button or a popper here and I think that would be perfect but I have made it a lot more fitted but it's so soft and so warm and so cosy and I think you could really do this pattern with loads of different fabrics and get a really different outcome and I'm really happy with this one because it looks so cute with boots and I also took it to the pumpkin patch to pick some pumpkins and check those out you can visit my Instagram at an edited life and you'll see a lot more photos there anyway let's carry on so this one's a little bit more Christmassy and actually I think probably a bit too premature but I found this little house it's a really cute um, addition for a Christmas tree but yeah I just thought that was really quite adorable there is a light box in there so I'm assuming it lights up 
but I just thought it was a really cute little wooden house and that was £1.50 I think from the pound shop. Now the other thing that I thrifted were these lovely buttons. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven buttons in there and I paid a pound for these. So these, look how detailed and intricate they are, how beautiful. I just thought this would look really cute on a cardigan or a jacket or something. I just love gold hardware and I thought this was the perfect addition to my stash. Yeah, I don't know, it just kind of vintagey but also quite modern looking so I think it would go with so many different outfits. And yeah, 12 for a pound, can't go wrong. So I picked those up as well. On to the slightly bigger items. Now, if you've watched my channel for a little while, you know I have a weak spot for baskets and wicker and all that jazz. So I managed to find this lovely woven square basket and I've got a collection of the um, Ikea ones in this similar pattern on my living room shelf that stocks all my lovely autumnal candles but there's not enough space for all of them so I thought this stacked on top because it's a different shape could look really cool and also help with storage of the rest of my candles. But I love this sort of basket design and this was at £1.50 that I thrifted from the charity shop. Now actually while we're on the topic of baskets, which this is the second basket of my haul, I also found this circular wicker. Let's see if I can show you the detail a bit more. And it's kind of like a storage box so I'm not going to open it because there's a little bit of dust and stuff inside which needs hoovering and cleaning. But it's a perfect little side basket which I thought would be perfect to put on the ottoman um, that's on the footstool so if you want to drink and pop it thing on there you can do or you can hide the remotes and I just thought this was really cute so I'm really happy with this new addition now I promise last basket well it's not quite a basket but it is this and I've been looking for one of these for a really long time and this probably isn't the ideal size that I wanted but they're just so hard to come across that I thought I have to get it and it's this lovely little trunk. How adorable, how cute is this? Essentially this is exactly what I wanted, but longer. And I mean, at the moment, because we've only had one summer season of gardening, I don't think we're going to be able to collect more fruit and veg than this in one go. So that's going to be the main purpose of this. But I thought in the meantime, while we wait for another year to come round, it's actually lined in this plastic. And I actually want to plant my autumn bulbs in here and I think it would just be such a beautiful display. Just imagine flowers coming up on both sides. How gorgeous would that look? Now this next one was an absolute steal. Absolute steal. So this was also £1.50 and it's this gorgeous brass wall hook and I mean how beautiful is that? How gorgeous. I just thought, I mean, I don't have an idea where I want to put it at this point, but I just think, like I said, goldware is my favourite and this would look just stunning on any old wooden door um, and also um, an amazing storage solution. So I'm loving this and I still can't believe that I got this for £1.50. Now, the next thing is something I've been looking for, I'm actually still collecting quite a few, is I'm looking for things that could be fabric weights. Now, fabric weights can be really expensive, I'm not quite sure why, um, but I did buy these little rectangular silver things as weights, but I also found this William Morris paperweight, and number one, it's just absolutely beautiful, um, and also there's William Morris print, so I feel that ties in with my sewing my sewing enthusiasm but it's got quite a nice weight to it so I think it would be a really good fabric weight and I got this for £1.50 which I think is perfect but I'm constantly on the lookout for this sort of weighted stuff really so that I can use it for my um cutting out my sewing patterns. Now last but not least is this glass little vase Um, I don't think it's oh oh this is from TK Maxx it's actually £4.99 full price I got this in the charity shop for two pounds so I think that's great but the reason why I got this I mean it's nothing particularly special but I just found this year with cut with my cut flowers from the garden some of my stems were still super short which just meant that I couldn't put them in a vase in the house and I just thought I needed a vase that's a little bit shorter in height so I can still use make use of the smaller cut flowers so that was the reason for getting that one and I think the colour is beautiful um, and 
Our tablescapes at the moment is kind of like a light grey and I thought this being kind of a light bluish colour just goes really, really well. And I do have a couple of hydrangeas that will need to be dried out soon and again I thought bunched together around this would look really, really beautiful as well so happy with that purchase. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you love these sort of thrifting videos, then I'll leave a playlist up here that you can watch some more of those. And I'll also leave a playlist of some fabric calls and things that you can watch over here. But until next time, I'll see you in the next video.